Hello, I'm Marshall Worthy. I'm with Critigen, and I want to show you a demonstration today of a tool that is based on an existing Department of Defense use case. There's a requirement within the Department of Defense and, and as well as regulatory drivers that are demanding Department of Defense installations get to goals such as net zero, to have the ability to monitor energy consumption at the installation level, and to be able to tell across their enterprise how well or how poorly they're doing in terms of energy consumption, in terms of megawatt hours, and also in terms of cost. All installations in the DOD as a whole has an existing energy consumption goal, as well as a, a financial expenditure goal that they'd like to hit. So what we've done here is we've created a tool called Critigen Energy Insight that actually helps them monitor across the enterprise at the installation level uh, across all DOD installations so that they can get a better idea of how well they're doing in terms of performance against their energy goal. Our tool is role-based, so if you click on the icon here, we have four roles. These roles can be expanded or contracted in terms of whatever a customer's requirements would be, but you have a national energy manager's role. You have a national projects manager's goal role that I will uh, talk to in a moment, and you have an installation energy manager as well as an installation project manager. We have two drawers that pop out once we log in, and here we're logged in as a national energy manager, and the interesting thing about this tool, a really great benefit of it, is the ability to access OSI soft information in real time in a dynamic querying capability that's in this interface. We can select by year or day. The map will redraw. It will go and hit the PI database, and it will draw how those installations are doing at the selected point in time. Here we're in, in looking at years, and so I want to look in between October 2014 and April 2014 to see how they're doing. Again, I'm going out to the PI database. I'm grabbing the information, and then it's dynamically updating the installation status. So I'm seeing across the enterprise. You'll notice here that I'm also tied to a real property database that has installation name as well as how they're doing in terms of their energy goals. I can go to the search function and I can type in an installation that I'm looking for and it will zoom to that installation. And right now I looked for Fort Hood, Texas and then we're reaching out to the real property database. We understand who the energy manager is, what their contact information is, and we're also pulling in services from climate zones. We're also pulling in to a top-level view of OSI Soft Pi and using these, this chart function here. On the left side, you're seeing cost to goal for this time period, and on the right side, you're seeing usage to goal for the, for the given time period. We can also select Pi Analysis and we can get the energy consumption roll-up for that installation while I'm sitting at the Pentagon conceptually. So as you can see, OSI soft core site is, is coming up. And from there, we can do what we can do in core site. We can go out and start doing a deeper dive into the energy consumption for that given installation. Another great feature of this tool allows us to go in, change roles, To a national projects manager. When we say projects, there, there, is, there are projects across the DOD that are impl implemented at installations called energy conservation improvement projects. One of the key metrics is if this project cost me $2,000, what frame of time am I going to get that $2,000 back in the efficiencies gained from doing the energy improvement project? So we're going to go back out and we're going to pull our second or first drawer out here. We're going to select the same time frame. We're going to go into an installation. Let's go and pick on Fort Hood again. So I'm going to zoom to Fort Hood and you're, notice, you're going to notice that the display is going to change a little bit. So I'm at Fort Hood. I don't need to do a deep dive because I'm an executive manager sitting in the Pentagon. I just know that I funded a bunch of projects at Fort Hood and I'd like to see how they're doing. So I can hover over this this goal right here and I can see that they told me it was going to cost uh, out they were going to get 118k in return on investment 
when they actually got 131 k. So they did really well on these projects. And so I'm very excited now. So if I want to go in and look at an individual project to see how an individual project did, I can do a deeper dive, select a project. I had the point of contact for the project. Harriet Quimby was the program manager for this project. I've got her contact information. I can call her and ask for lessons learned on how come that works so well. And that's a really valuable tool if you can do that across your enterprise, across the Department of Defense. Right now we have 184 installations in here. So what we're going to do now is we're going to zoom out to the installation energy manager role. So I select this role and now I go to the installation. We have a DOD installation here that we've named Antelope, Antelope Airfield. And as you can see, the data set is very robust. It's what you would expect to see in a real property management GIS database. Again, this is tied to a real property relational database. So we understand that we, we have, when the buildings were made, uh, we understand what their construction is. We understand who the facility owner is by virtue of being connected to the real property database. We have the same drawers, except now this drawer is rolling up this installation. So right now, We've got cost to goal and we have usage to goal for this particular installation. And so I'm the installation energy manager and I show up and all of a sudden I pull up my display because I want to see how my installation is doing and I have some blinking objects on my map. The reason we're able to do this is we have connected the GIS data to the PI database. So effectively the map is becoming your warning light. So what we have here is we have a meter here that's not reporting. So I select this, oh my goodness, meter 552, it's not reporting. I can notify maintenance personnel and call for, for repairs, and then once they've been notified, I can turn the alarm off. Now I think I'm going to go get another cup of coffee at Starbucks, but then I notice I have an outage. So these gray buildings are not reporting. Pi, I'm not getting a pie feed. I'm not getting any information from them. So I can interrogate the map, and I've got a meter here with no service. I've got another meter here with no service. Well, I think those guys are on one transformer, but I can't remember. I haven't worked over here for a while, so I'm going to select another one. I'm going to select a button that says Find Source Location. And now we understand that Transformer 310 has gone out and I select a button that says call for repairs. This goes out through a work manager such as SAP work manager. The appropriate maintenance personnel have been notified. I can take a break and go get my coffee. The other interesting thing about this is we can change roles yet again to the installation project manager. Now I'm not an energy manager. Now I'm, I, I talked with the energy manager and I have some ideas on how I can make more buildings more energy efficient. So I'm, I'm back to the map. Again, the map is my, is my alert platform. I can pull up my current energy consumption. I'm interested in that because that's the cue to knowing a project might need to happen in a building that's red, for example. So I can go in here and I see I have a red building and I select that building. It looks like it's Antelope Building 154. There's 76,000 square feet, pretty large facility. So I can go in here and I can click Zoom to and now I've got the data for Antelope 154. So you notice the display is a little bit different here. This is kind of an abstraction from OSI Soft Pi. So this is not the inter this is a project manager. So he really doesn't understand how to do a deep dive. Coresight scares him. That's for the engineers, but I can see I'm not getting some I'm I'm not getting some good efficiencies in here back in the day. Because remember, we're looking October 2014 or April 2014. And so I did, I went and did some real property research and I understand that the building was built in 1942, needs new windows, needs a lot of stuff. So I have all my projects here. So basically, I went to the installation commander and said, I'd like to do these projects and, and you can expect a return on investment in these projects in 13 months or in two months or what have you. And then I, all the projects are again rolled up like they were at the national level. I promised my boss 53k in return on investment. I actually got him 57. And I can also go in here. I can I can launch Pi here, and it brings up this display for this building. 
There's antelope 154. But the other interesting thing I can do here is I can go into this dialog and I can select a report because everybody's always asking me how well we're doing on these projects. I've got a lot of intellectual capital invested in these. A lot of my credibility is on the line. So now I'm, I, I went into OSI soft and I used the data within OSI soft for these projects to generate a, an FEMP 3.0 report. So when people ask me how I'm doing, I can just print this out and I can give it to them and generally they'll be satisfied. And if I have to, I'll go to a briefing and pull up CoreSight, which generally will get the decision makers to be quiet. And that is Critogen Energy Insight.